Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all wherever you are in the world. My name is Nick Ferrand, and these are my Italian one-take property tours. This property is for somebody who wants to change their life, or somebody who doesn't want to be in the middle of nowhere. Um, they don't want a long white road. They want accessibility to towns and restaurants and bars and shops. They want to have a really nice garden. It's got a swimming pool. It's got absolutely everything that you need. Anghiari is about 10 minutes away, maybe eight. San Sepulcro, which is about 15 minutes away, maybe 18. Um, Arezzo is about 35 minutes away. <laughs> and there you can pick up the train to Florence. It's just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, are you ready? Let's go. The first thing I want to show you is that I'm going to pull the camera slowly around because what you have is 1,800 square meters of the most delightful garden area and veggie patch. And it's, well, it's just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. You can just imagine coming with friends and, you know, barbecue and, you know, all the things and just growing your own tomatoes. It's just fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Now, as I mentioned to you, Anghiari is this way um, and that's between eight and ten minutes away. And we are going to just, I'm just going to go to the side of that so I don't have to open it. But... We are going to walk down here and I am going to uh, show you the property today, which is this here. Now it's about 300 square meters in total. And you've got a small road, which I'm stepping across now. And you've got dedicated par parking for two cars. Now this is a tiny old Strada Vincinale. And that is Victoria. Ciao, Victoria. Ciao. So you come down to the house. No, you're a lovely doggy. You're just where I just, you oh, gorgeous thing. And you come through this lovely gate of wrought iron and you come into the courtyard and you immediately are presented with a really nice four meter by 12 meter swimming pool. So you've got your, you know, veggie garden and, you know, where the kids can play. And then you've got this beautiful garden with a lovely big swimming pool. Yes, doggy. Here you've got a really lovely bar um, fireplace. Um, I just don't know whether I can get the camera to adjust in there. There's going to be a lot of camera adjusting today. Isn't that a nice place to have a barbie close to your house at night? Right. So you come up these stairs. Again, seating areas. Victoria, are you coming with me? Okay, and then we're going to pop in here. Now there's going to be a lot of camera adjusting today. So you come with this front door and you're immediately presented with a really lovely entrance hall with an original stone arch. <laughs> Do you want to go out, dog? No, come on, off you go. There you go. Good girl. And then straight into a, a big kitchen with a six burner hob, a wood burning stove, which I'm going to show you. Now these things are absolutely fantastic. And not only can you cook in them in the winter but they also heat your house. It's got some beautiful original flooring. This kitchen area doesn't have 
the original beams. But there's plenty of beams for everybody. Now, as we go through the house, you will see that basically all the lights are quite orange. And I will try to change that in post uh, to the best of my ability. But look, you've got this really beautiful living room. And if I come up, I see whether I, the gimbal can do that. And yeah, it's, it's, the, it's the same theme over. It's just gorgeous wooden beams and terracotta tiling and lovely rooms and really just great flooring and a lovely big fireplace. And yeah, it's just... It's just lovely. Now, as I said to you, that basically this is a house where you can come and totally enjoy Italian life and just, you know, have all the amenities and the treasures of Italy really on your doorstep. Oh, I just pull around here. Right, pushing on, we're gonna go down into uh, a couple of steps down, beautiful stone steps coming down into a hallway. And we just come along here. And then on this level, we have three bedrooms and two bathrooms. So we're just going to go into bedroom one. It's interesting because you're going to uh, get some light coming in from the window and bouncing up into the ceiling. And then we come across to bedroom two, really nice double rooms. And then this has a bathroom en suite with a bidet toilet and a shower. And <laughs> last week, uh, I forgot to mention, uh, did, forgot to show you the showers, um, which I think was quite interesting. Um, so I really do apologize for that. And uh, yeah, a bit of a mistake on my behalf. Um, and then you come into here and you've got uh, a really good size bathroom and a bath if I just pull over you've got a shower in the corner and then the camera will adjust and I'm going to open the window and I'm going to stick the camera out so that you can see the view um, and you can see the small road and here we go as I said to you you are surrounded by other houses but not Everybody wants to be so isolated. You know, it's, uh, a lot of people want to live in a, a nice little community. Okay, so that's two bedrooms, two bathrooms. And then we come into here, which is bedroom number three again that's a nice size room i can see some modern beams uh, and some terracotta tiling uh, it's quite cool in the house it's jolly hot outside and it's really lovely and then you come back into this beautiful room now, I think if you had, you know, some kids um, and that would just be a great family area for you all to live. Now, I'm going to take you up and show you, oops, show you the attic because I thought that was really jolly exciting. So we're back into the hallway and uh, I'm going to take you up here and show you this. Now, this is deemed or uh, classified uh, at the Camorne as an attic space. And the owner at this moment has 
a bed in here and I mean, it, it's huge. It's huge. He's got other stuff in here. I'm just, you know, just gonna have a little rummage around in here. Um, and then also be pushing here. They've got another bathroom up there. I think that's a bit of fun. And the ceiling heights are really quite high. Yeah. Wardrobes. More storage in that door there. And then I'm just gonna come around here and, I mean, look at this attic space. <laughs> now I'm having to, you know, stoop a little bit. And uh, these are your, you know, emergency supplies. And uh, the owners make this uh, fantastic fig jam and, uh, and uh, hopefully if I'm lucky that uh, he might kindly give me one at the end of this tour. Yeah, excellent storage, excellent space. Really very good. Right, let's get out of there. Okay, down we go. So we come back down to where we were before. And as you can see, there's the kitchen area where we first came in. And then if I pull around, this was this lovely reception room. And then I'm gonna come around here, slowly does it, Nick. And then you've got a staircase coming down in stone. And I'm going to pull into this room. Beautiful door, look at that. All the original patina on that, absolutely gorgeous. You know, look at the handle there, fantastic. This is the, probably the coolest room of the house. Probably would have been a storage. It's got some very nice flooring, high ceilings, wooden beams, terracotta, lovely. And this in a way is a one bedroom self-contained apartment. You come back out here and then you have a kitchen, a fridge, a little sink, Nice doors which are leading out uh, to the garden area, which we're gonna go out and show you in a minute. And then in here, I'm gonna push in here, and it's quite tight getting around, but you've got basically a toilet, uh, a bidet, a sink, and a shower. And the sink is underneath the stairs. Lovely bumblebee. I'll come back and let you out in a minute, don't you worry. Really nice bit of architectural detail here. I don't know where it's, it's quite dark, but I just want to pop up and see if I can actually show you that. Really beautiful. Yeah, back to this gorgeous door. I love that. And then I'm just gonna pop into the cantina area, which is down here. I mean, the space is huge. Oh, look at this arch. They make a really lovely office. And they've got an upright piano, central heating throughout. It's on GPL, there's a well, and you have uh, town water as well. <laughs> and here is a gym, and there 
over where the shoes are, just beyond the gym, is the original manger. Lovely and cool here. Oh, that's fantastic. I'm just going to pull around and show you that. Oh, that's lovely. Absolutely gorgeous. If I pull the camera up, step back as well at the same time. Uh, this is a, a house where somebody is living here full time and you know, it's a house where you can live here full time as well, very happily. It's got absolutely everything that you need. Yeah, perfect. I'm just gonna get outside and show you the uh, back of the house. And then we're going to walk around and out. This little door here goes into that bathroom. So you've got a Jack and Jill bathroom. Now the camera will adjust and I'm just going to pop out. Oh, what a day. <laughs> now I suppose at one point you would have come up this road. Um, and that would have been your entrance. And if I walk down and then I'm just going to turn the camera around and you can then get uh, a really good view of the building itself. I, I can hear a cookie. And I mean, what a lovely building that is in your little hamlet. Okay, so what I've done is I've put the camera back to where we started because I thought that this would be a good place to uh, finish off. Um, it's actually roasty. <laughs> so here are some facts. Are we ready? The park band, which I can see here, is just divine. It's got figs, it's got apples, it's got apricots, beautiful veggie patch and, uh, you know, tomatoes, onions, salads, whatever you want to grow. Um, and as I said to you, that's 1800 square meters. There's parking for two cars. Um, there is a 12,000 litre water tank, which collects water from the roof to use to irrigation. I think that's absolutely fantastic. The swimming pool is 12 metres by 4 metres, and the house itself is 300 square metres. And I, you know, as we went round, I actually thought it was bigger than that myself. Um, there was two floors in the attic, which is about 50 square metres. Two bathrooms and three bedrooms, which were on the first floor level with that gorgeous living room, kitchen where you've got the alfresco straight outside. Um, basically, uh, the downstairs, you've got a studio apartment uh, with um, a very nice bedroom, very cool, high ceilings, kitchen and a bathroom and then a beautiful office and a gym. Um, it's got GPL rubbish tax. Uh, it's about 350 uh, euros a year and the property tax is about 1500 euros a year I, I, I know uh, it's just absolutely fantastic the middle section of the building when we were downstairs and I showed those beautiful arches they date out back from the 14th to the 16th century it's it's great it's got Wi-Fi it's got a well it's got Comune water you can connect to town gas if you wanted to price 595,000 euros. Now, I think if you wanted to change your life and maybe, you know, come and live in Italy, you know, and if you've got little children and they can play in this beautiful garden, the school runs eight minutes away. You've got, it's just, everything is on your doorstep. It's absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much for coming on this tour. My name is Nick Ferrand, and these are my Italian one take property tours. And for all of you who have subscribed to this channel, and we have now just hit 60,000, 60,000, I thought say 60,000 euros, 60,000 subscribers. I honestly can't thank you enough. And for those of you that haven't subscribed to this channel, just push those buttons now. Until the next one, have a great day, have a great week, and I'll see you very soon. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye.